My name is Kimberly C. and I'm an assistant professor of chemistry in the Division of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering at Caltech. I was awarded the Beckman Young Investigator Award in 2019 to study the conduction of charged atoms called ions in solid materials. Recognition from the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation is particularly meaningful considering the impact that Dr. Beckman has had on science. Dr. Beckman received his PhD and started his independent career as a professor here at Caltech. While here, Dr. Beckman invented the pH meter and eventually founded his company, Beckman Instruments. Dr. Beckman also invented the Beckman DU spectrophotometer, which has had significant impacts on scientific research. Dr. Beckman was an innovator and he worked on technologies that had real impact in the world. Thinking about Dr. Beckman's story and legacy inspires me to continue working on the fundamental science that will impact the next generation of energy storage. My name's Harry Gray. I'm the former chairman of the board of the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation, and I'd like to uh, share a few thoughts about the Beckman Young Investigator Program. It started around 1990 with a meeting with Dr. Beckman. I had found that there was a great need for more support for young investigators starting in chemistry and biology. We would offer funds to beginning assistant professors who don't have tenure yet and really don't have the clout to um, get large amounts of money from the government for high-risk projects. The program has been incredibly successful. Uh, I'd like to say how proud I am of Kim and the, all the other young investigators that we have had at Caltech over the years. Having studied myself as a postdoc at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and now as a faculty member here at Caltech, I have been aware of Dr. Beckman's continued impact on science since both UIUC and Caltech are home to Beckman Institutes. The Beckman Institutes provide the space and resources to foster collaborative and interdisciplinary research, which is the only way we are going to solve the big problems of our time. I also often think of Dr. Beckman's tips for a successful life, especially the advice to hire the best people and get out of their way. I have been incredibly lucky to work with talented postdocs, graduate students, and undergraduates on the project that was funded by the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation. Though ionic conduction is commonly achieved in liquids, we have known since the early 1800s that ions can also conduct in solids, despite their rigid structure. You can visualize solid-state ion conduction like a monkey moving through the forest, swinging from vine to vine. Similarly, ions can traverse through solid host materials, swinging from bond to bond. Ionic conduction in solids has enabled state-of-the-art technology like the lithium-ion batteries that power modern cell phones, laptops, and battery electric vehicles. A lithium-ion battery has three main components, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte in between. The anode and cathode are the workhorses of the battery. When the battery is operating, ions conduct in the solid phases at the anode and cathode to either be incorporated or removed. The removal or incorporation of lithium ions correlates to a loss or gain of electrons. While lithium ion batteries have been transformative, they rely on lithium, and lithium will not be able to satisfy the future demands of a fully electrified energy infrastructure. My group is very interested in developing the fundamental science that would enable new battery chemistry that uses earth abundant and inexpensive elements like magnesium, calcium, and zinc instead of lithium. Unlike lithium, the ions of magnesium, calcium, and zinc are doubly charged, which presents challenges associated with their ability to conduct in solids. Their high charge density is thought to result in stronger interactions of the cations with the anions that make up the solid, making it more difficult for the ions to move. With support from the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation, my group has shown that solid materials, and particularly electronic insulators, can support the conduction of 2 plus cations, like zinc 2 plus. We tailor the materials to facilitate the conduction of a 2 plus cation. The anionic framework is crucial to facilitating divalent ion conduction. For example, materials with flexible polyanions can distort to accommodate the conduction of the charge dense cation. We demonstrated that solids can support 2 plus ion conduction with metrics similar to their lithium ion counterparts, despite the high charge density of the mobile ion. We also showed that the conductivity can be increased, allowing us to use these materials in an electrochemical cell to plate and strip zinc metal. My name is Zach Eisen. I'm a fifth year graduate student here at Caltech, working in the C group. Our research primarily focuses on ZNPS3, a layered material with zinc 2 plus ions, which are octahedrally coordinated by sulfur from the P2S6 polyanion. We found that zinc is able to conduct in ZNPS3 with a low activation energy, which is enabled by the flexibility of the P2S6 polyanion and its ability to distort into the Van der Waals gap. 
However, the conductivity of ZMPS3 is much lower than the state-of-the-art lithium-ion conductors. But we found that we're able to drastically increase the conductivity of ZMPS3 through exposure to humidity. After water is absorbed in ZMPS3, it exhibits superionic conductivity due to both mobile protons and enhanced zinc conductivity. The absorbed water enables a new mechanism for conduction in hydrated ZMPS3. Instead of the traditional vacancy hopping mechanism, the absorbed water is able to solvate zinc ions in the grain boundaries, where they're able to conduct rapidly in the network of water molecules. Interestingly, the counterion seems to remain trapped in the lattice, creating a cation-only conductor, which is enabled by the inherent solid-state zinc conductivity in ZMPS3. Our results were made possible by the Beckman Young Investigator Award. The new conduction mechanism we have demonstrated will impact the way we think about the chemistry of ionic conductors and hopefully result in the development of new materials that will be useful in future devices. Understanding the conduction of 2 plus cations is a critical step to realizing a rechargeable battery that uses abundant and geographically dispersed elements like magnesium, calcium, or zinc. The Beckman Young Investigator Award has been transformative for me in my research. It gave me not only the resources, but also the courage to try something difficult and risky. The program also fosters a strong network of young scientists, including undergraduates, postdocs, and young faculty. This network provides not only a scientific community, but it also provides mentorship. My name is Avril Jang. I'm a senior undergraduate here at Caltech studying material science and history. For the past year, I've worked in the C Group as an undergraduate research fellow. My research focuses on studying solvent-assisted divalent ion conduction in a variety of new materials that have not yet been investigated. As an undergraduate researcher, the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation has made it possible for me to delve deeper into a field of science that I typically would not be able to in a classroom setting. And with the amazing mentorship from Professor C, as well as Zach Eiten and other members of the C Group, it's been a really brilliant opportunity for me to um, get to experience what real research is like um, that I'll be able to conduct in graduate school and find a community outside of the undergraduate population here at Caltech. We are so grateful to the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation for their support of our work. The consequence of the BYI award is not only the advancement of our fundamental understanding of bionics, but also the advancement of the careers of the young people who have worked on this project and will go on to impact science in their own unique ways.